Contact discriminate 111, descending to platform 100. Uh, so in this video we're taking a look at a few of the functions it's a basic guide an overview just to get you up and running with this if you haven't grabbed yourself one of these radios yet then i'll leave a link down below okay so this is ijv 3.0 so let's take a look at it so before flashing it always try and back up the eprom of the radio i've got a video on that on the fag video the intro of that if you want to watch that you get the py file with it so you can use chirp you now it expands on the features which custom firmware offers with these radios so it has a it has an extended menu like most custom firmwares to get into that it's the usual PTTN function one just press and hold those switch it on it says service enabled with this instead of you now like an extended like hidden menu but if you press menu and you'll see 73 options so let's go through this calibration frequency calibration so that's transmission off and on so you can totally disable the transmission on this radio frequency lock your side buttons you can program those short and long press it's pretty standard so you get your presets there That's pretty useful. You got your reset VFO. So if you press menu, you can do all, which is like the whole radio data. Yeah, so all data or just VFO reset. X out of that. That's a basic look at the service menu or extended menu, hidden menu. So to do a VFO reset without going into the menu, you just turn the radio off, press and hold the PTT and the exit button, then switch your radio on, see reset VFO. Always recommend doing this after a firmware upgrade to save any issues you might see with it not functioning correctly so always worth doing that so if you want to set the backlight to permanently on it's the first thing I normally do with these it's menu 20 backlight time on already but if you select menu go up and down you can see your options on Press menu again to save it then exit out so that's how you put the backlight to permanently on so this is the menu groups this is catching a few people out including myself so when i first put the firmware on there i couldn't go through my memories it wouldn't actually search through them as you can see here so if you press f scan you'll see that's your groups so within chirp or the radio you can set the groups of frequencies to scan, a bit like scan lists. You've got up to 15, yeah, 15 selections there. You could have 15 groups of different frequencies and just scan through those, which is pretty good. Let's go down to four. can see I can't scan through my memories even though they're programmed through Chirp so yeah if you're struggling 
just press F scan then normally you'd have it on all unless you've changed it within chirp so go to all press menu again X out you can see I can now go through my memories again so just a little tip really if you're new to using this you know you're not wondering why you can't search for your memories so you probably will need to adjust your squelch settings so that's menu 01 I press menu again then you do your up and down keys I normally have it around two or three obviously the higher you have it the stronger the signal will have to be to come through so to press menu exit out and as I showed you, if you want to turn off the squelch, just press and hold F1. That'll turn that squelch off. So the next useful shortcut is channel save. So menu 14. Press menu again. Then you just go to your next available memory slot, which is 82. Press menu. Menu again. And let's just save that. VFO to that memory slot. Okay, so you still have save VFO to the next available memory slot. It's just two keys instead of one, like before. Advertise with nice. So if you've got your station you found, press F4, and there you go, saved it to the next available memory slot. So let's take a look at the one key functions on this firmware. So the first one we'll take a look at is auto gain control direct access so if you press and hold one see it's got your manual gain fast automatic and slow automatic so you can choose that manual and it's the same as before it won't actually work unless you've got an incoming signal so if I turn off the squelch you see that is on manual press and hold one again you can change to fast So, yeah, you won't be able to use the other two unless you're out of FM. So within FM, I think you can only use manual from what I remember last time. So once you've got that showing, you can then press 4, press and hold 4. And you can change your gain. So it's plus, up to plus 18. Down to minus 80. So yeah, press and hold 4. And you can make that adjustment on fast and slow. It's going to do the adjustment itself. So there you've got plus 18. So that's your automatic gain control feature. So a long press of 5 will take you into your filters for reception. So you've got the same options as last time. You've got your wide band, narrow band, narrow band minus, and wide band plus. So you can X out of that once you've made your choice. Also press and hold an A. We'll activate RIT and ZIT. I'll put word enough to explain what that is now. Okay, the buttons which are the same, direct access is two, press and hold and two. Switch channels from upper to lower and lower to upper. Press and hold and three will take you from memory to VFO, so manual input. Your scan button is still your scan button, so press and hold on that will scan through your memories. You can exit to stop that. If you go into VFO, Press scan again, same way. The F lock is on the same, so if you press F and hold it, see the keypad is locked. Press and hold it again, it's now unlocked. And the same as the last firmware for modulation, press and hold zero. Now you have these pop up windows, and you just make your selection so FM, AM, DSB. CW and WFM, so you can change and it shows there the modulation. So pressing and holding six, 
changes your transmission strength so medium high low and number nine is the final one so you press and hold nine you've got your frequency steps all these options you can find within the menu also you don't have to use the one key press but it's just convenient so you just go up and down press menu to select obviously that's changed the step in of the frequency so go to 10 kilohertz see it's going up in tens you can go down in tens so the display layout has changed with the icons you've got a speaker icon now you've got two arrows which face down the top here for dual channel or one arrow for single channel I guess so yeah if you're not in dual channel you can press menu 58 and you'll see you have the option there so menu again you can change it to off and on so if we go into off exit see it's disappeared go back into your menu press menu once again turn it on menu exit it's back so you'll have your two saved memories and it will switch in between those and the speaker will show on the last activity so if it was the bottom channel it will show there if it's the top it will show there so yeah pretty useful single vfo is the same as previous firmware so f2 to go into single vfo mode to go back f2 again so let's look at frequency scan so that picks up information from nearby repeaters so if we go into menu 45 it says frequency copy so that will scan nearby whether it picks up it will show the details as it does on the other firmwares so just exit out of that Okay, so if you're not able to transmit, it could be because you haven't got it switched on within the service menu. As you can see here, I cannot transmit. TX disabled, so you will need to go into that service menu, turn the radio off, hold PTTN function 1, switch it on, service enabled, and it's menu 68, so menu 68 see it's off here press menu again up or down on the arrow will change it to on menu exit and if i press it now show tx here you've got your red light so yeah it's that easy to turn it on i believe it's either on or off so something to check if you can't transmit so this firmware has a feature of vfo memory slots seven of them to use so you have to be in VFO to use it, press F1, see there, that's the last VFOs we've looked at. So you can move in between those. So this is 102 there, if I press menu and then change it to 103, and go back to F1, that should be 103, which it is. So quite useful. Okay, so let's go through some useful shortcuts. First one is menu 17. So that's if you've got your frequency named, you can make your selection here, press menu, up and down. So you can select name, channel number to show, channel frequency only, name large, frequency small, name small, frequency large. So I normally select and exit out. And as you can see here, that's one I've named in Chirp. Okay guys, so this has been a look at RJV 3.0. I'll leave you with some clips of me testing it on some reception, so mobile and from home. Hopefully the video has helped you out. As usual, show your support by hitting the like, share it and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.
Zero direct discriminate one one, descending to platform 100 uh, with information. Delta. Delta, 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 Delta,